What is up, my good people? The name is Pixelover, and we're back again with another episode of Mother 3. Aw, oh, poor Lucas. He looks really upset. In the last episode, unfortunately, we were told that Hanawa had passed away due to a violent Drago attack. Klaus has gone off to no man's land. None of us know where he is right now, and only Lucas would have the slight idea of where he is. Lucas said that he went to go fight off the Drago, but even then, I don't think either of them know exactly where that is. I haven't really done anything much since the last episode, just just me uh, going through some items, looking through Tazmili Village and whatnot. I did get a few items, such as these edible mushrooms, peculiar cheeses. I still have a bunch of nut bread as well, but there are three people that I really wanted to look right now. Obviously, there's Bronson. He's down on the bottom left. My good editor is going to have to circle where they are. Then there's going to be Old Man Wes. He's going to be on the our right. Actually, Bronson's on the bottom left. Wes is on the right. And then good old Mapson, which is in the center. But first, I feel like we should talk with Lucas, see how he's feeling. Also, for the love of God, Nintendo, please don't copyright claim this video. I am turning down the volume of the game audio because I don't want to get... I don't want to get claimed, so please Nintendo, please, uh, I'm, I'm just doing your amateur videos and whatnot. Dad. <laughs> Aw, Lucas. Even Boney said. Aw. <laughs> well, am I just gonna have to leave Lucas here? I mean, I know I have to go to Alec. Which is the Sunshine Forest. But first, I obviously need to go through Bronze in here first. What's good, my G? Flint, just take this and go. It's THE Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce through the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. I realize this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. I think Lighter had something to give you too. He should be at the beach west of here. Lighter? What is Lighter... What is Lighter gonna give me? Also, I kind of have a little too many weapons with me right now, so... I don't know if I want to, you know... The relic of a horrible accident, a fang sharp enough to pierce... Even through Drago hide. Right, is is it not is it not a fucking weapon? Can I not equip it? Really? Oh, that's something interesting that I didn't realize. Since I'm using Lighter's Lumber, not all not only does it increase my offense, but it actually decreased my defense. Meaning if I unequip it, my speed is gonna increase. Interesting. And now I have all this nut- Oh, not- not equip. Now I have all this nut bread that I don't really want to get rid of. I might get rid of- I, I might just get rid of the edible mushrooms and peculiar cheeses. Because my boy Thomas also has some quality items here in his bazaar. That he so graciously asked me, Hey, you know what? You can have some of this stuff. Honestly, I don't know why any of this crap that I got was even in Tazamelli Village, but you never know. Flint, I'm sorry I was so useless. Anyways, it's the Village Bazaar. If you need anything, just go ahead and take it. That's a running bomb. Use it if you find yourself in trouble. I'll take it. Rightio. If anyone makes any more, I'll set them out on here. That's a flea charm. It'll protect you if you equip it. Will you take it? Rightio. If anyone makes more. Ancient banana. It's too old to eat, but it could probably use be used for something. Righty. <laughs> Is that it? Is that it my boy? Big Mike? Big Mike? That looks that looks to be it. Anyways, what is this flea charm you're talking about? Put on the body. Alright, I will take it. What was my other charm that I had? Mini, mini charm. I sh 
in theory, I shouldn't throw it away. Because there is going to be, like, more people coming through and whatnot. Mapsin. If you need something from the map-loving maps, map-loving and map-owning Mapsin, it must be a map, yes? Alex has a market. There you go. Be careful out there now. Alright, so Alec is all the way, geez, through the sunshine forest, eh? Alright, but I need to go talk with Wes, because he had something for me. Last time I talked with him, he said he had something for me. However, I once again have a lot of crap. Alright, Wes, I threw away some nut bread for you. This is a useful item used in the thief arts. Take it with you. Thunderbomb? I won't stop you. I have an inkling of where you're off to. But your life's not the only one at risk here. Old Nippolite is getting up there in years. Don't make him dig another grave. Ah uh, yes, Nippolite. I forgot exactly where I saw. I believe he was... I believe he was in that house. Old Nippolite. But yeah, he's like bedridden or whatnot. I could be wrong about the house though. However, I did see him. And he does look like he's aging. He does look uh, like old man West said, he doesn't want he probably doesn't want to dig another grave. Despite the despite the countless years he's been doing it. Good old buddy fuel. Now where's the lighter? Cause I was looking at here earlier and I was not able to find lighter at all. Feel? Do you have an idea of where your dad is? My dad's been down in the dumps ever since all that stuff happened. Mr. Flint, think you can go say hi to him. Well, I don't know where he is. Oh. <laughs> I clearly didn't check this part of the uh, area. Are you looking for our boss? Last I saw, he was scuttling around, looking on to see in a quiet, unbecoming way. What? Is he a hermit crab or something? Sorry, we were just practicing our comedy routine. Be sure to catch our act sometimes, okay? Hey, don't worry. I think you guys are going to do great. I think you guys are going to make it on in Broadway. I never thought I'd see you lose it like that. But if you start acting tough like that, what will happen to the two kiddos who rely on you? You know what's best. It's tough being a man. No doubt Klaus is intent on avenging Hanawa. You better go after him and fast. I'll let you borrow this. Oh, come on now. Your inventory is full of all kind of junk. God damn it, Lighter. It's all this nut bread that I have. Here, I'll throw it away. It's Nut bread is expendable. Manly bandana. Don't worry, I washed it. It's clean. Alright, well, what kind of... Manly Bandana. Offense goes up by 48. Defense is by 2. Oh. Do I want to get rid of my ordinary hat? Eh, I'm going to keep my ordinary hat. It looks, it looks good on Flint. Actually. Actually. If I get rid of it. Does it change? No it doesn't. Oh, The game's not that advanced. As much as I would really love the defense, I mean, as much as I really love the off, would really like the offense, I would really prefer the defense, actually. That's the whole point of having equipment. Equipment, uh, like the body, arms, other, they're all there for defense. And for other oddities. But offense? No, that's a weapon. That's a weapon's choice right there. So we have to go all the way through this sunshine forest in order to get an Alex house. Hopefully it won't be as treacherous as before. Okay, so I can go through grasshoppers and whatnot, but I guess praying mantises. I can go through these guys and whatnot just by running, but they're, they're not going to attack me. All right. There is a nut! <laughs> I don't want to throw away anything. Yes, I actually did find out that there is somebody in Tasmanly Village who would be able to offer me... Who... She did offer me um, that she could make any kind of like 
not bread, not cookies if I give her nuts. And like, I had nuts, but I tried to give it to her and she was like, nah, not today. Come on, Flint! Come on, I want the big combo! Actually, you know what? Let's use this ancient banana. Fuck this. I'm throwing it on this, mo on this mouse. Alright, ancient banana! Let's go! Alright, it didn't do shit. <laughs> I actually just wasted a fucking turn on that. Really? And I still can't get the huge combos. Come on, mouse. Oh, come on! <laughs> The only thing that can make this worse is... Oh, did you look at that? Big combo. The only thing that can make this worse if it, if it was... If I got poisoned. What the hell? I didn't even realize that was an enemy. Oh, but would you look at that? Huge combo! And he healed me! I almost feel like I... I must feel like it's criminal for me to kill this guy. It was an absolutely huge combo! Oh god, where are these guys? Countered Spud Bud. Well, Spud Bud, I have running bombs and thunder bombs. I don't know what any of them do, but if you guys start bumbling me, then I won't be afraid to use it. Yeah, there we go. Got to sound tough. Oh, come on. <laughs> the one time I wanted to do a huge combo is the time he dies. I am just a little upset that no one else followed me. And no one else followed me with uh, to Alex's house. Alright, boar. Huge combo. Fuck. Huge combo. Oh my god, that was actually a good combo. Oh my god! This man is... This man is not kidding around! Jeez! Beef jerky. Damn, I kind of really wish I had Duster and Boney because they still have a bunch of items that I gave them. And I kind of want to see what I gave them. <laughs> Ooh, present. Wait a minute, do I even have the goods to do it? So, I don't. Ooh! I'll take it! That's some good beef jerky right there, actually. And I got some even more beef jerky! Would you look at that? I no longer have to rely on nut bread! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my G. I'm sorry. You know I have to do this to you. You're, you're a good, uh, good source of XP. Even though you give, like, 8. Oh, we got more moles over here. Mischievous mole, you're about to get comboed. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on now. Damn, I always feel like I shouldn't just combo. I feel like I should just let, let it go. Let, let nature proceed. Because every time I combo, I'm just like, sweet, that's a huge combo. Then next turn they die. And I was like, well, was that even worth it? Like this, for example. Yep, in two hits he's gone. Didn't need to do that combo from the last from the last time. Excuse me? <laughs> a walking rock, a crag lizard. I don't know what you do, but you're about to get comboed. All right, he got comboed. He actually did get comboed. On the other hand, what is this present? There's an Aquarius bracelet. All right, what does this Aquarius bracelet do? A bracelet of the Aquarius zodiac sign. Thank you very much. I'm a Sagittarius on the other hand, so... Ew. Actually, I remember I was reading like Twitter once and it was saying it was like... Why straight men do not believe in astrology or whatnot like that. It's not- the thing is, is like, I don't- it's not that I don't believe in astrology, it's just that I feel like... People use astrology as like a means to define somebody. It's so like I said before, just because I may be a Sagittarius, that doesn't mean that people should define me just because of what the fucking star or what star sign I am. Like there's so much more to me than my my own than my own goddamn star sign. 
dare I say, it also applies to that personality trait things. The 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 fucking four letter four letter personalities that everyone keeps that everyone keeps wanting to take. That, that, that kind of BS. I, I don't know. I just feel like <laughs> when people see that you're like an ESTJ or some shit like that, or you're uh, a Gemini or whatnot, I feel like you're immediately like crucified by <laughs> by a small selection of people. I was like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't hang around those people. But it's just like, dog, come on. Just because I was born on this on this period of time doesn't make me. Like, of the fucking scum of the earth or whatnot. Like, that's just bogus right there. That actually is bogus. And same thing goes for the personality traits and whatnot. I, I always mention that the personality traits, that kind of test and whatnot. It's just another zodiac sign. That's all it is. Because the amount of people who I always read are saying like, Oh, I'm an INFP, despite the fact that supposedly that's one of the more rarer types. Like, please, shut the fuck up. I don't give two shits. Anyways, what do we have over here? A gorilla pass, I know how you feel, but stay away. Alec is actually really close by, so... Oh, damn. The Drago must have come through here. All right, my boy Alec. I'm here. What's this trash can? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Not wasting food is a commendable thing, but that does make, but that does make things a little harder for me. S O S. This is no time to be doing Morse code, is it? Jeez, I don't know. I just wanted to talk with you, you little critter. Little critter. What's so wrong with doing that? All right, Alec. I'm here. Was good. Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? It seems one bit me right on the head too. I've healed up perfectly though. No, 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 no. None of that matters. I know where Klaus might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Oh sweet, we got our boy Alec! Now where to, my boy? Flint. When I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought, what? Didn't you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk to frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard there, for instance? We just need to go in the direction it tells us. What, that pink lizard? That guy? Flint. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friends, no friends, are known as... Magip... Magipsies? Magipsies? They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. Alright, my boy. Tell me where I have to go. I am a lizard. I will show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. <laughs> I just realized. He actually does look like an arrow. Alright. Well, I'll go this way. I'm going to assume I have to go through a Grillo Pass. Do I not? No, never mind, I don't. Flynn. I see you're not walking as fast now. Seems the word Magipsies has made you curious. Magipsies have mysterious powers and have been protecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, nor man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. They are good natured though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did these guys come from? Wrong. I'm the wrong frog. Right, right, right. Frog. The right frog. You look at that. You weren't actually joking when you said froggy intelligence. I thought you were just. 
talking about like the frogs that saved my progress. All right. Well, how do I how do I get down there? Hey there, lucky man. Wrong. I'm the wrong frog. The fuck do you want me to go down there? <laughs> Alec, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get on there? There we go. Why is that so specific? <laughs> Why is that actually so specific? Holy shit. Alright, th thanks a lot, little guys. Ribbit, ribbit, rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> Spare advice. You know how enemies sometimes leave nice items behind after you fight them? If your inventory is full, when you find an item if you want, you'll have to either give it up or throw away another item. Which is why it's a good idea to always eat any food items you have as you go along. Doing this will keep your inventory from getting full. This little trick is especially useful for when you're hiking through forests and mountains. Well, now time to end this with a little spare like trip trip. Yeah, I feel like I really should be using my food items much more than I, than I am right now. Mostly because I just have a habit of like really being stingy by using my items or whatnot. That's true for any RPG that I play out there. I just don't really like using my items despite the fact that I have them for a reason in case, worst case scenario and whatnot. I just don't know when I'm going to get items, you know? In the mood for a milking? No. I take it you're not a milk person. Well, unfortunately, I think I've been making the discovery that I am becoming a little bit more lactose intolerant, unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately, I do feel like I'm slowly becoming lactose intolerant because there was a time where I ate like cereal every morning and whatnot. It was like maybe one or two years ago. And then after a while, like every time I finished eating cereal, my stomach just really started to hurt. And I was like, why is this hurt? Why, why does this hurt so much? So like, I stopped. I, I stopped I stopped the cereal consumption right then and there. Then I haven't had any issues with it or whatnot. Granted, I was eating cereal. I was eating cereal in the morning for like, what? Four or five months straight and whatnot. So I was assuming it would have eventually caught up with me. It just felt awful. Flint, go wherever your heart takes you, but not that way. Yeah, you know, use your gut. Use your gut and your mind to tell you where you're going. But don't go that way specifically. Have here. Oh, calm down there, Buster. No need to keep running everywhere. Oh, humans. So sleepy. Visitors, magnificent. You simply must have some of this cake. It's scrumptious. Is that Alec? It is, it is. Good to see you, Snookums. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude, Iani. Well, Lania, Iania? I think it's, I think that's an I. Iania. Introduce us. Of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend Alec. And who's this with you? Blint, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now let's get you all properly introduced to us, the Magypsies. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have... A... 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 Aeolia? Aeolia? Then there's Doria... Fryga? Fryga? Frega, Lydia, and that one over there is Mixolydia. The only one not here is Locrea. Lo you can call me Ionia. Mm hmm. You can't remember all of that? Of course not. That's why I just introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Alki Poo? Oh. I'm just gonna say this right now. Even though Alex said he didn't know if these guys are human or whatnot, these guys, generally speaking, look like they're just a bunch of men <laughs> cross-dressing. It's been a while. I'm glad to see her well. I hear you helped my grandson Klaus. Do you know where he might have went? Well, do you? Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squirt from a little while ago. 
Then I suppose this Flint fellow is his father. Hmm? Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. Please, don't. <laughs> don't. So what about Klaus? Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful PSI technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. So he left then? And you didn't stop him? What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you humans. Here one minute and gone the next. You poor things barely live a hundred years of that. That's a blink of an eye to us, my gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Now, now. Mixolydia. Phrygia. Humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, Alakipu? I understand how you feel. I really do. I don't care if you understand or not. Just tell us where Klaus went. The boy headed for the Drago Plateau, quite, quite rambunctious I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you just might catch him in time. Drago Plateau, you say? Flint, let's hurry there. I uh, yeah, uh, this is just getting too much for me. Flint. The quickest way to get to the Drago Plateau is through the cave behind this house. Klaus probably went through the cave too. There's nothing to worry about, Flint, but you're not going to get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? Yeah, okay, but you still seem pretty tense if you ask me. Jeez, why wouldn't I be tense? I have a child who's going after a monster. Holy shit. That I have a child who's going after a monster that could potentially kill him. Flint. It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through here many a time. Just leave it to me. But more importantly, that super serious look on your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? Uh, joke's on you, Alec. I can actually see where I'm going. Keep going west at this fork in the road. I can actually see where I'm going. We go north here. Because OBS actually stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it and jump right down it. As I was saying, I am able to see just a little bit thanks to OBS. Oh Flinty Poo, that was my Majipsy impression. Do you like it? Relax, relax. God, no, don't don't ever do that ever again. Head west from here. I'll take the present. Wait. Is that you? God damn it, Alec. God damn it. And now there's enemies over here. Thanks a lot, dickhead. Alright, where to now, Alec? Hold on a sec. I've been so forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? I'm pretty sure there's a vine to the north. We need to find it and climb up. It's not to the north, it's right over here. The fact that there's a vine here means that my directions just now were wrong. Sorry, want me to say a pun or something? Whatever, I found my way out. God, Alec, please! You're actually gonna make me scowl even more than I already am. There's a rock behind us! We're as good as there now that we made it this far. Now we just need to head upward and climb up some vines. The vines go up because they're divine. Oh, come on. It's just a pun. Look, I get that puns help right now, but like there's a freaking rock in the way. All right. More vines. There's a vine on the left. Go there. Ah, here we are. Dragon plateau. There's, <laughs> there's an actual rock in the way. Thanks a lot. Would you look at that? We're on the plateau that we couldn't get to last time. God damn it, what's with all these rocks? And the worst part about it is that I have not been able to come with them at all. Alright. Froggo. 
let me save and I'm going to assume that there's gonna be a boss right next to here isn't there I just feel it I just know it. I can feel it in my bones beef jerky that's what I like to see oh hold up what's the instant revitalizing device doing here And are you guys playing an Atari? In only a few seconds, this instant revitalizing device. And what is the instant revitalizing device doing here? Somebody must have stolen this from Dr. Andonuts. And the same person who probably stole it probably went back to the pat. Hold up, hold up. I just thought of something. Same person who took this instant revitalizing device. Must have taken it from Dr. Andonuts. The first phase distorted prototype was taken by Dr. Andonuts. And whoever took it also went back to the past. There's only one person that I know who would be able to take all of these things. And it would make sense if it is him because he did travel back to the past. And lo and behold, he's also traveled some different point in space and time. Or at least I think so because... He tried to get away or whatnot. It's pokey. But just think about that for a minute. Not only do we know that Pokey stole the helicopter from Monotoli, he was also he had to have been the one who took the phase distorter, the prototype, because how else would he have gotten to the past to try to stop Ness and everyone else? If this is Pokey's doing, what is his plan? Oh. What is Pokey's plan? I, I will I will say, I don't remember who was the one who said it. I don't remember who was the one who said it, but there was somebody in Earthbound who said that somebody resembling a pig took their items or something like that. There's no way it can be Pokey, right? Oh god damn it, not these things. I was actually fine not dealing with these things at all in Earthbound. These guys were a bitch in Earthbound Beginnings. Oh shit, come on Flint. Flint, come on. Come on Flint. Thank you, Alec. And I still can't combo. Is it Pokey? Or am I just, am I just grasping at straws here? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that Vulture... Falling Eagle? I didn't even realize that Vulture was meant to hit me! Ah, uh, but you got comboed, bucko! <laughs> Eat shit. Oh, fuck off! Really? <laughs> Can I not use the beef jerky right now? See, I don't have my map, so I don't know if I should be going north, if I should be going east. Fuck. I, I, I don't know where, where I should be going. But there's a present right over here. Beef jerky! Yes, sir! I'm gonna assume down, down, um, down right is gonna be probably another present. Hopefully. Actually, no. Not hopefully. There's another asshole over here. Alright, what do we got in this present? Hello? Can I open it? Sprinting bomb. Cool. Don't know what that will do, but considering that everything else down down here and right, considering that every bridge has led us to some present, I'm gonna assume that north is the way for us to go. All right, what do we got over here? The more beef jerky, and I'm just getting beef jerky for days. Jesus Christ, Flint! Two straight smash attacks. That's what I'd like to see, baby. So, this has to be the end, right? I really wish my map would work here, but this has to be it, right? Oh, the little derpy Drago. Sorry, what? What is he doing with it? Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Why does he even look derpy anymore? Klaus, what did you do? It's one of Klaus's favorite shoes. This belongs to Klaus! 
And that was a baby Drago just now. Class must be somewhere around here. Oh no, Klaus. I've already lost to now. I don't want to lose more. There's some nut bread. Actually, I will gladly. <gasps> Who are you? That's a widow right there, butto. I haven't seen you since Magicant. Yeah, fuck. I, I, I need a... God damn it! How? Oh! Hey, hey, no, 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 I completely forgot that you both us to do that. That's bullshit right there. I would not want this nut bread at all. Anyways, I need to go find Klaus ASAP. Where the hell is he? Hey, Bucko, are you kidding me? Alright, what the fuck is this thing doing here? This looks like just the thing you saw on top of the cliff earlier. This one appears to be broken, however. Come on, not another tree here. Buddy, come on. If I'm gonna fight you, you better at least give me some beef jerky because I'm running low. Jerky, let's go, that's what I like to see. Uh, spare advice. Up ahead is Drago territory. Please be careful if you're heading further in. Now it's time to end it and spare like chirp. Damn it, well there's something over here that I wanna check out. Not you, bucko. Oh shit. Never mind, there wasn't anything that I wanted to check out over here. Leave me alone! Drago. Shit! Another shoe! Come on! It's Klaus's other shoe. Klaus! We're here to rescue you! Where are you? Oh shit. That doesn't sound good. Excuse me? Oh, fuck. What are those pig-like things did to the Drago? <laughs> what is that? That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both. Uh, down boy? Don't kill us? That... Don't look good to me. Mecha Drago. Alright, buddy. I have this fang for this reason. Mm, get the hell out of here. It pierced the Mecha Drago's tough hide. The Mecha Drago let out a howl. Uh, am I. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna have to keep using this Drago fang. Already had been pierced. What the fuck? Well, what do you want me to do? Shit! Come on now! Already hide and pierced. Okay, okay. That doesn't sound good. That does not sound good. Oh! Uh, running bomb! Eat shit! Uh, more running bombs! I'm tired of all these bombs that I have. Use it all on this guy. Uh, da, 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 sprinting bomb. Ooh, good damage, good damage, good damage. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> that actually hurt. Thunder bomb. Eat shit. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down, buddy, calm down. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Uh, more beef jerky, more beef jerky. Okay, 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 bash. Oh, big combo, big combo, big combo, huge combo. Come on, do I need to use the Drago Fang again? Big combo, big combo, big combo. Dude, come on. <laughs> what, what does this Drago want? Alright, 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 alright. Uh, Drago Fang. Where is it? Drago Fang! Dude, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me here! Shit! Oh no. Oh no. 
Alec, come on! Beef jerky! What the fuck? Why isn't this thing... Why isn't this thing dead? I might actually die here. I might actually die here. I, not if I have anything to say about it. Huge combo! Shit! Why do I have- why did I leave with so many bombs? Come on! Thank you, Alec. Thank you. Alright, this feels like I'm not doing anything at all. Uh, brute force. Swing! Are you kidding me? That did that barely did shit! That actually barely did anything! Come on, Alec! Come on, Alec! Just give me more- <laughs> Give me something- Give me something that's gonna heal me more! One last attack. Fuck. It's dead, it's dead. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> You're kidding me! Hurry up, 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 hurry the fuck up! Oh my god, let's go! Oof. I have to throw everything at him once again. What is up with this thing? What the fuck did you do to class as well? Is he? Okay, he looks like he's dead, right? Right? Does he look like he's dead? Aww. Oh, come on! You really have to give me this? Flint, don't do it! That won't solve anything. You'll only make its child go through what Klaus and Lucas had to. Aw, oh, Flint, come on. Jesus. Please don't tell me I have to fight you now. Just tell me, where the fuck is Klaus? That's all I want to know. Where is Klaus? What is that? <gasps> Klaus! It is possible that until now, the people of Tasmili Village had never known sadness. On sunny days and on cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who would, ha would had shared with those who had not. However, it now appears that the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. What the fuck happened to Klaus? <laughs> when did this change begin? Where did it happen? What set it in motion and why? Almost as of toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people like Flint ha have even had their families torn apart. So what is this suspicious group that wears pig's masks? What are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing Klaus be? He's right there! What do you mean missing? The, mis the mysteries continue to pile up. And so the tale first begins as a tragedy. Jesus Christ, my boy Klaus! What happened? What did the Drago do to him? Did I really lose my wife and a child of mine in the first three episodes? What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> Lucas! What's gonna happen to him? Oh, Flint. 
I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Hanao was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hanao's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. This poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Duster. Thanks. Oh, my boy Flint, he talks! He talks! Alright. What now?